Hey guys, I want to make a quick video on how to make your um, titanium exhaust or any other pieces of titanium turn blue through a process of anodization, which is an electrical process. Uh, it's the same as when heat turns titanium blue, only heat uh, takes longer, it takes a lot of heat to turn an exhaust blue. And um, through this process of anodization, you can be very precise about where the blue is. So here you see my arrow slip on exhaust. This is brushed titanium. It does not need to be polished. And um, basically what I've done is I've cleaned off the exhaust and I've begun the process of anodization. And what you need to do the anodization is some sort of foil, whether that's copper or uh, aluminum foil. Here I have some copper foil. You need some paper towels, some soda uh, that's not diet. You want the sugar in the soda. That is part of the process. And um, you're going to use some batteries. So here I have four 9-volt batteries to give a total of about 36 volts. And um, that is what I used to begin with. That got me about this far. Um, but then I switched to this DC generator over here because these batteries are already too low of a voltage to produce this light blue color that I'm looking for. Now with titanium, about 36 volts will give you this light blue. As you step up the voltage, add another 9 volts, the blue will come like a purple. So um, I'm just going to go through real quick how to um, turn your exhaust blue using batteries and soda. First things first, you want to make sure if you're using batteries, they're hooked up in this way with the positive terminal of one 9 volt battery connected to the negative terminal of the next. Here we have 9, 18, 27, 36 volts because they're um, connected in this manner. It adds the voltage for each battery. So you also want to be mindful of which side has what polarity. Here on these batteries, you can see that the larger side of the 9 volt battery is the negative terminal, and the smaller side is the positive terminal. Now, the polarity of these terminals does matter, okay? So with the positive terminal, which again is the smaller side, you're going to connect a wire to your exhaust. Now here, I just have a piece of foil being firmly held to the exhaust with a piece of tape. It's important there's no... Uh, gap between the foil and the exhaust it needs to be really firmly put on there so there's no sparking going on. And what that'll do is it'll apply a positive potential to the exhaust titanium. Okay, the titanium conducts electricity. You want it to conduct electricity in the general vicinity of where you're trying to anodize at that time. So when I first started, I put it up here. And then when I did the bottom here, I put it down here. So uh, that's what you do with the positive terminal. With the negative terminal off the battery, you connect a small piece of foil to the end. Okay, I'm using banana clips here. You don't have to use those. You can use any copper wire to connect the negative terminal to this copper or uh, aluminum foil piece here. Now, after you've done that, you want to be careful because you now have two terminals which are live. If you connect this here to that without having this piece of paper towel in between, it will spark and short against your titanium, and you don't want that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to wrap this piece of foil in a piece of paper towel that's been dipped in the soda. Just one layer, okay? You just want one layer, if you can help it, between the piece of foil and your exhaust. Sometimes that doesn't work. You need two layers because it's shorting through the paper, and that's fine. The least amount of layers, the quicker the exhaust will turn blue, as a general rule. So basically, you go through, and spot by spot, with uh, your electricity connected, you very carefully make sure your finger does not touch this and that at the same time because that will electrocute you and it can be fatal if you have a considerable amount of current, okay? It doesn't take that much current to kill a person, especially at 36 volts. So um, being careful, you press the foil through the uh, paper towel against your exhaust and you'll hear a slight sizzling and that's the anodization going on, okay? And you want to not leave that foil on a spot for too long because as the color changes with the amount of time you go on there, um, you know, you could go too far. So here I've had it on for quite a while and you see this beautiful kind of metallic light blue effect. If I held it on there any longer, it would start to turn darker and there'd be other effects that are not desirable. So you want to know how long you're putting it on there and basically move it along the exhaust at a slow rate, um, which is the rate you want to just put enough on there. Now, as you can see, mine's a little bit blotchy. Um, you could see the areas where my copper foil was sitting. 
That's not just an effect of the poor lighting. Um, that's because I held it on at one spot and then I moved spots. And it's really hard to get a clean transition when you do that. I recommend you keep it moving. So I would keep it moving one stroke, two stroke, and keep going until you have the color that you desire to keep a smoother look across your exhaust. So here you see my DC generator. It's not on right now. Uh, so this effect hasn't started for me at this moment, but as you can see, I'm well into coloring my slip-on. I'm using IBC root beer. Remember, not diet soda. Uh, you want sugar in that. I'm just dipping normal paper towels in that, getting them totally soaked. Uh, I wring them out a little bit just so that it's not, you know, putting soda all over my exhaust where it's dripping down. And then I put, take my piece of foil and I cover it in the paper towel and just gently rub it against my exhaust and that produces this nice even anodization effect which is pretty cool. I hope you guys uh, have fun using this. Please do be careful. It is electricity. I'm not responsible if you guys misuse it. It is a dangerous thing to be playing with but uh, when used appropriately it produces this cool effect on titanium which I think is interesting enough to share. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.